Here in example two, we're going to look at some graphical representations of data related to online education. Uh, all the values are given in millions of students. That is the raw values. So we're comparing undergraduate students. Uh, we had partially online, fully online, and on ground. Uh, numbers were 3.2 million, 2.2 million, 11 million respectively for a total of 16.4 million. Uh, the partially online, that 3.2 million is 19.5%. The 2.2 is 13.3%. Uh, the on-ground students at 11 million is 67.2% uh, of the total 100%. For graduate students, the respective numbers were 0.27 million, 0.87 million, and 1.83 million for a total of 2.97 million. And partially online was 9%. Fully online, approximately 29%, and on ground, 62% for a total of 100%. So first, they want us to use a pie graph to compare the percent in each category uh, of online education for undergraduate and then also for graduate. So we're going to do two different pie graphs here, comparing these amounts. So I've got a pie graph here for undergraduate. Uh, I've color coded the blue is the part time. The uh, green is the full-time and uh, online, and then the red is the on-ground. So the way that I'm getting my uh, areas of the circle here is the entire circle is 100%. Uh, we're looking at these percents here for undergraduate. So 19.5% were the partially online, that's the blue. So that should be less than a quarter of a circle. So a quarter of a circle, just to give an idea here, a quarter of a circle would be right there. So that's a quarter of a circle. Our blue is a little bit less than a quarter of a circle. Now our fully on ground were 13.3%. So that's going to be a little bit more than half of the blue here. So this green sector area is a little bit more than half of the blue. So half of the blue would be about right there. Well, not quite. About like that. Okay, so this is just a little bit more than half of the blue. And then what's left, the 67%, which is the on-ground, should be more than half of the circle, and it is. So half of the circle would be right here, and we've got more than half. Uh, for our graduate students, uh, about 9% were partially online, so that's this blue sector. And notice that that's smaller than the 13% over here. Uh, about 30%, almost a third, are fully online. So that's the green right here, and that's about a third of that circle. And then the remaining 62% right here, the red, again, is more than half. Half would have been here, 50% of the circle. We've got more than that. So um, we're able to compare relative amounts or percents. Now, the key here is that in order to do this, our percentages have to add up to 100%. And they do in both cases here. So, so it's OK to use a pie graph for comparing relative amounts or percents. So we can see that uh, uh, there's about uh, twice as many, approximately twice as many in percent uh, that are part-time online for undergraduates as there are for grads. Um, there are uh, less than half as many full-time undergraduate online students as there are graduate students. And we can see that there's more um, on-ground, fully on-ground students uh, that are undergraduate as opposed to graduate. Part B, they want us to use a bar graph, so heights or bars, to compare the actual numbers in each category. So again, uh, I did two separate bar graphs. You could combine these to a single bar graph if you wanted to. Now, if you do two separates, make sure that your vertical scale is the same. So this is 10 in millions, so it's number of students in millions. Um, we can see here now that uh, our blue, which is the partially online, um, this goes up to about a little higher than three, and this is only about a third of the way up to one. This blue is about 10 times as big as this blue area. So we've got about 10 times as many partially online uh, undergraduates as we do grads. We can see the green area, which is the fully online. Uh, we've got about twice as many undergraduates that are fully online as graduate students. And then for the fully on ground here, 10 million versus about 2 million, uh, about five times as many undergrads are fully online as graduate students in terms of raw numbers. So again, relative amounts are parts of the whole. 
pie graph is appropriate. Uh, if you are comparing raw amounts, uh, bar graph is appropriate. Now you can have percentages displayed in a bar graph. That's not wrong. And in fact, when your percentages overlap uh, or they don't add up to 100%, a lot of times uh, bar graph is going to be your best solution because here everything has to add up to 100%.